The Niebuhr Sky Disk is a 3,600-year-old artifact widely recognized as the oldest known depiction of the cosmos. Recent findings published in scientific reports have shed new light on the intricate techniques used to craft this extraordinary Bronze Age artifact. The sky disk was discovered in 1999 on the Middleburg Hill near Nibra, Germany, by treasure hunters Henry Westfall and Mario Renner. Found alongside bronze swords, axes, a chisel, and spiral armbands, the artifact was sold to private dealers before being recovered in 2002 through a police sting operation. It is now housed at the State Museum of Prehistory in Halle, Germany, and has been part of UNESCO's Memory of the World Register since 2013. Adorned with gold inlays depicting celestial bodies such as the sun, moon, and stars, the disc is attributed to the Anetis culture, which thrived during the Central European Bronze Age, 2300 to 1600 BCE. Despite its relatively small size measuring about 12 inches, 31 centimeters, in diameter and just a few millimeters thick, it represents a profound understanding of astronomy and metalworking. The recent study by the State Office for Heritage Management and Archaeology Saxony-Anhalt, in collaboration with the Otto von Guericke University Magdeburg and Delta Sigma Analytics GmbH, reveals that the disk was crafted through a highly sophisticated hot forging process. Using advanced metallographic techniques, including energy dispersive X-ray spectroscopy, electron backscatter diffraction, and light microscopy, researchers uncovered a manufacturing process involving approximately 10 cycles of heating to 700 degrees Celsius, forging, and annealing. Dr. Harold Meller, state archaeologist, remarked that the investigations continue to produce such fundamental new findings more than 20 years after the sky disk was secured not only once again demonstrates the extraordinary character of this find of the century, but also how highly developed the art of metal processing was already in the early Bronze Age. To better understand the craftsmanship, renowned coppersmith Herbert Bauer created a replica of the sky disk using a cast blank. Bauer's experiments revealed that the original artifact required fewer forging cycles than the replica, suggesting that the original cast blank was both larger and thinner. These findings underscore the remarkable skills of Bronze Age metalworkers, who were not only proficient casters but also adept at advanced techniques such as hot forging. Archaeologists believe the sky disk played a significant role in the agricultural and ritual practices of the Anetis culture, serving as a tool for astronomical observation and a symbol of cosmic order. Its layered creation over four distinct phases and eventual deposition as a ritual offering highlight its cultural and spiritual importance. Dr. Miller emphasized, the sky disk shows how important it is to re-examine seemingly well-known finds when new methods become available. These latest findings confirm that early Bronze Age artisans possessed advanced knowledge of metallurgy, enabling them to create unique and enduring works of art like the Nebra Sky Disc a true marvel of human innovation.